welcome to this youtube channel today we are going to look at query function in google sheets what does the query function do the query function will query our data and filter out what we want for example we can say i want all africa only or i want america to be filtered out from this data set here so that's what you're going to look at using the query function in Google Sheets. By the way, if you're not subscribed, hit the notification button for more videos like this one. So let's get started. Now for the start, I want to have a drop down here where I select a region and also a country. Then it queries my data and places it here best on filters the data based on what I have here. So what I'm gonna do first is to get a unique list of the regions. So I'm going to use the unique function, takes a range. So the regions are here, go down, I'm going to start from a one, and I drop the last reference so that it goes to the very end. So what this function does gives me a unique list of all the all the regions the, the items in the regions so when i do that you can see i get this but i don't want the first one so let's say two so my unique list from this list is this so what's the unique list for the country i'll say unique the range my range won't start from the two. Start from the two. Drop the last reference. And I do so. So this is my nick list of the countries. This is my nick list for the region. Now, having done that, I need to create a drop down here, one for the region and the other one for the country. So to do the drop down, I go to data. Then data validation, then the cell selected is okay. That is H1, which is this one. Then I go and pick my regions. I click that square, go to the next sheet, pick my region here, drop the last reference and say, okay, and say, okay. So if I go back, you can see I have a drop down here for my re region. The next is the drop down for the countries. I'll do the same data, got data, data validation. Uh, this is correct this is from a list. But where is my location for the list? It's down here. I drop this reference so that if I have more items being added here, they will still be picked say okay and of course uh so i have my list here of countries now one the other thing that maybe i've not done is to reject any input which is not on my list okay so now you can't come and type if i do that it gives me an error as you see but it rejected but in this case i didn't put but if i type something it will be accepted. So to eliminate that, I need to go back to my data, data validation and write down here, you see reject input. So I reject that input, say, okay. So, so far, all that is good. I have my dropdown with the regions, I have another dropdown by the countries. So I need to select, to do a query function, which is going to filter out my data here based on the selected value here and here. Okay, so let's build the query function. We say start with the echo function, write query, brings this down. So the first thing we need here is the data. My data, all this, then I'll drop the last reference so it goes to the end. 
the next thing that I need is the query that I want to do. What do I want to filter out? So I put it in quotation marks and so I write my query. So my query is select. Uh, so if I say select A, if I want to select regions, I can just say select A, like so. And uh, I have one header, if I put one, close. So I get my, all my regions here. If I want B also, I can also say, B is countries, so I say B, countries appear. If I want C, my cells, just say comma C. I hope you get the idea. Then if you want the years, just put a comma and say uh, it is in D. And then you get your whole data set here. So you can select specific data that you want, or you can select all the data. Now, in if I do select all, I want to select all without typing everything as A, B, C, D, I can do that and you see it comes to the same. So select star selects all the data, but this is not what I want. What I want, I want to base on the region selected here and the country selected here. That's where the where clause comes in. So I'll say where, for example, now, my, can, my region is in A, so I say where A, that is the region, equals single quotes, because I'm using single quotes because I have double quotes here. So if I use double quotes, the query will not recognize it. So for example, if I say Africa, like so, and I say enter, you just see that only Africa is selected here, okay? So then next, and I want Africa and some country. Country is in column B. So I say where B, my country will equal to, because now in Africa, countries we have is Kenya, like so. There's an error here and move left out the single quote, and there you go. So it selects Africa and Kenya as a country. Now I want to make this dynamic so that I don't have to go inside here, change this to Africa, change this to Kenya. I want to use the drop down in here. So in that case, what happens is, and of course, um, maybe later on in another video I'll improve this drop down because I see right now um, there is possibility of some error but let's, let's for now do for the region only so what now instead of having Africa here I want to reference my region which is in cell H1 so uh, I use those, then I use to calculate, add there something, use double quotes, then and select the region. This is how you reference to a cell. So you do these double quotes and n percent, the reference of the cell, n percent what like so. Now when I do that, you see that Europe is what appears here because Europe is selected down here. Trying to increase the size of my sheet here or is there visibility? Maybe I can shift. Just 
shift this up here. Okay. So what I mean is if I select Africa, Africa is selected here. If I let's select Europe, Europe is selected. And if I select Asia, Asia is selected. So that's how you can select based on a region. So the query is referencing the region which is in this cell H1. Of course, you can also add there. Maybe let me copy this. Then I say and now I also want to select country. My country is in B, where B equals. Uh, this is B and H I. So it was in I one. Believe so. Then you say okay. Now I don't get any data here because there is Asia. Brazil is not in Asia. Okay. So if I come to Africa and I select a country in Africa, like Kenya, I get Africa here, Kenya there. Select Africa, select Nigeria. But if I select a country which is not in Africa, I get zero, nothing here. I select America and Mexico. Yes, that's true. And uh, Brazil, like so. So this way you're using the filter function we have created. We're using the query function, we have created a filter which runs a query on our data based on what is selected in the drop-down list, the drop-down. So I hope that's all I have for you today. I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. And thank you for watching. See you again in the next video and have a great day.